Hello, good morning, everybody, and thank you for for joining us for this uh, this uh, this live event. Um, twenty twenty has been an incredibly difficult year for for most of us uh, worldwide. Incredibly difficult year for one reason only, and that's uh, COVID nineteen. Uh, and the application that I'd like to discuss with you today is directly related to to the pandemic. It's from uh, it's via a company a machine builder in Korea, our Korean market, and it was dealt with by our South Korean branch, um, Hepco Motion in Korea. The company name was HD Tech, a renowned machine builder, and their task or problem was to build a new machine for the assembly of COVID-19 test kits um, as quickly as possible, really, because time was obviously the essence to get these, these test kits to market as soon as possible. Um, in terms of their construction, they were reasonably simple. You have an upper case and a lower case and test papers that fit inside. So going back to the task, the, the, the new machine was required uh, quickly in a simpler modular format um, to suit uh, a quick design time, uh, time efficient assembly. Um, and as I said, it was all about getting getting this to market as quickly as possible. Um, the machine builders who could respond fastest to this worldwide demand were obviously the, the winners. Um, so on each nest uh, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the conveyor system, there would be 10 units, each requiring a repeatable stopping accuracy in place for on each of the stations of plus or minus 50 microns. Two kilogram payload, System rigidity is, uh, is very important with this type of assembly um, and as, a, as is high duty, these machines are typically operating 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So customer needs or the end user needs, needs maximum productivity. I was looking for a proven solution um, with minimum maintenance and, and, a, and a, a reduced scope for catastrophic failure. In terms of the stages, um, the, the various stages on the system, um, we start with loading the lower plastic case, and then the, the test papers are input. The next station involves a press of these test play papers into place. The next station is an inspection process, followed by the loading of the, the top plastic case. This is pressed into position, uh, the product, the finished product is finally inspected. And then the last station, um, eight of eight, is the product unload. So what's the solution? Hepco Motion DTS, size 25, oval format. Um, each straight configured to include stations for complete end-to-end -end process. Um, which essentially means you're doing double the, the, double the output on a single system which of course means double productivity. So DTS systems can be used to form the basis for your machine. And that's exactly what we did with this one. Equipment was positioned both inside and outside. And carriages can be moved around to move a component or a fixture around the various stages of production. And robots or actuator systems, as is the case with this one, actuators can be used to load and unload product at the beginning and at the end of each cycle. So as I said, the solution was a Hepco Motion DTS 25 oval format with each straight configured to do a complete process, industry proven. And the V technology means no catastrophic failure, minimum maintenance and minimum spares. The movers are rigid to suit um, larger and rectangular nests because the product was actually sort of like positioned across the Across the uh, across the carriage, as you can probably see um, on the image shown, and locking carriage systems uh, provided the repeatable positioning accuracy of plus or minus fifteen microns. Of all of all the the eighteen stations on the system, uh, twelve of those stations required locking carriage mechanism. So the modular system, what did that give? It gave that minimal design time, which was critical. Um, to, to HEPCO Korea being able to respond quickly to this requirement. And typically, we supplied um, multiple units in three to four weeks, which was absolutely key. And as I've said, the, the scope of supply was DTS 25351, 
pitch circle diameter of the of the of the circular ovals and 18 mar 18 carriages at 200 millimeters pitch so what were the results first of all increased productivity by a factor of three we're talking hundreds of thousands of units generated per day per machine the additional space saving was key we all know how important that is in in terms of wider industry dts was utilized as a machine core there was a reduction to the machine unit cost um, it resulted in customers worldwide with over 50 units ordered thus far in 2020. And the success of this machine, guys, was actually made Korean news as the, the, the following video will show you.